Hi, I'm Tony Stefani with Hillside Commercial Tree Farm. And in the last video of this series, I reviewed our soil survey and our soil test results. Now that we know what kind of soil we're dealing with and our test results, we can begin to develop our plan for fertilizing and correcting this problem in the Canaan fir field. What I've found makes my life easier for doing things that I only do but once or twice a year is develop a tool and some sort of instructions that I can use to make this routine a little easier. I've done this for my herbicides, my pesticides, and for my fertilizing. For the most part, that's what I felt that you really need to pre-plan and you really have to buy products for. So developing a tool or some sort of instructions to help yourself do this is a really good way of making your life easier. And when you're doing these tools, you can do them in the off season, January, February, because that's the slow time of the year anyway to really sit down and think and process the things that have to be inputted into this tool. So let's sit down and go through my process for developing a fertilizer plan, both for new a new field and for this problem area. All right, this is my fertilizer tool that I use. A uh, real quick overview of it. This is the kind of the workspace. This is where I buy my chemicals and fertilizer from. I get them from Wilbur Ellis, and this is what they typically have in stock in Dundee. This here is the nitrogen recommendations from Michigan State University on tree age, which is pretty helpful to have right when I'm kind of planning this out. Over here are the soil test results with the recommendations based on those test results. Usually I don't have this in here, but just for the sake of this video, it's easier to reference it real quick. We see the pond area where we're having problems and the new field planting for next year, for this, this spring. Kind of some more detail on the workspace. Like I said, if you're only doing something once a year to try to remember your process every time is kind of takes a little, takes time. Working through this, step one, input your recommended rates from your soil test in pounds of an acre. Pretty self-explanatory. Step two, know how much product is in each 50 pound bag. When you buying fertilizer, they're in percentage of weight. You usually buy them in, or I buy them in 50 pound bags. So 46% of 50 pounds is actual nitrogen. So that's what this table does is calculates based on kind of some stock available, available products, the weights in pounds. So we see 624.24, triple 19 is all the same. So it's just helpful to have that information. Step three, pick your products to blend. So based on your needs, you're gonna start kind of playing with numbers that are available to hit your targets. Step four, determine how many blends are needed. So when you're picking your products, you'll see these numbers change to give you how many you're gonna need to hit your targets. Then we multiply times the acre, right? If it's less than one, it'll, it'll calculate that for us. Then step six is to kind of put it in English so that you understand it. So let's start with the pond. Nitrogen, we see 40. Over here we see, based on those trees, uh, year three, 40 pounds. Maybe, I think they're a little older, so we're going to say 60 to 75. So let's say 75. Phosphorus, we're going to go to our soil test. Here we see 120, so let's put in 120. K, 100. Sulfur, a whole lot. Uh, down in some of those notes, we saw that we shouldn't add more than 400 pounds, so we're gonna put 400. Now, over here, we're gonna start picking some numbers. Um, these are pretty close to the same, this is a little lower, sulfur, so, Let's just start picking 624.24. So we see based on poundage, we have three pounds of nitrogen, 12 pounds of phosphorus, 12 pounds of potassium, zero sulfur. Right now, that's where we're at. And we would need, if we did just this, we would need 10 bags of phosphorus to hit our 120. We would need 25 bags to hit our nitrogen and we would need eight bags to hit our potassium. So that's a lot of bags. Let's add another one. Let's try triple 19. What we're trying to do is get these to be all about the same. 
That way it's a single blend and much easier and cheaper, best efficient. So right here is looks pretty good. We need six bags of this blend. So six of this one, six of this one, 12 bags total. Sulfur, we need some sulfur. So let's add elemental sulfur. And we need nine bags of those. Now our pond, how do we determine the acreage? Let's use Google Earth to do that. So to calculate acreage, I use Google Earth. So let's zoom in to the, my farm and the field that I want to figure out the acreage. And for the and for the problem area, we're going to use this tool with a ruler. You're going to set to polygon, and we're going to click and kind of draw our box to kind of determine the size in acres, how much product we're going to need. So for the problem area, we're at about a half an acre. A little big, looks like some of the trees are pretty good in here. So we're going to say half an acre there. And for our next year's planting, which is going to be over here, we'll clear that out. In general, I know that I'm planting two acres of trees every year. So I use two acres. I just did a little rough guess and we're out 2.3. I knew that this whole field here was 10. And my plan was to plant it over the next five years, so I better have pretty close to about eight acres left. So let's see how well I'm doing here. Oh God. And we're about 8.8, .8, probably some in the woods a little bit, but in general, I'm on target for my uh, filling up this 10 acres. So we harvested out of this field this year, so by the time we kind of get over there, I'm hoping these will all be gone and I'll be able to replant in that area. So this is how I'm using Google Earth to kind of calculate the area for my fertilizer needs. Coming back here, we know that that pond is half an acre. So we really need three blends of this and four bags of elemental sulfur. So let's put that. We need for the pond Three times six dash twenty four dash twenty four three bags nineteen ooh, nineteen 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 and nine bags sulfur. All right, pretty straightforward. Now let's work on our new field planting. We don't need any nitrogen. We need 120 pounds of phosphorus and 120 pounds of potassium. That looks pretty easy. <laughs> and 277, 294 of sulfur, so let's say 300. This one looks like pretty squared away. We're gonna use, we're gonna turn this to blank. We're gonna use 624, 24, apply some nitrogen. There isn't a zero, <laughs> nothing. It's our best pick from what we have available to us in this scenario. And we need some sulfur, obviously. So we're gonna need 10 bags of 624, 24, seven bags of sulfur. Now, that's per acre. We're gonna do two acres. So we need 20, 20, 13. Let's summarize that for us. So we need 20. That'll hit 
us there. And 13. Solver. And that does it. And that's it. Pretty simple. A tool like this helps you really strategize and quickly implement and figure out what you need to do on your farm. As of now, I'm waiting for my fertilizer to show up and return in stock to Wilbur Ellis. With the prices increasing anywhere from 75 to 150%, we decided that we would only correct the pH in our new field. We're not gonna apply the, what was it, 20 bags of fertilizer that we're gonna need to kind of get the other nutrients up. We'll do that maybe next year and as the following years and kind of bring those trees where they need to be. But right now, I really want to address this Canaan fir field because it's probably three, four years, and I need them to start filling out because right now they don't look to be sellable. So we're going to try to make this work. Um, I'm hoping to get that fertilizer down in the next couple of weeks, and I'll video that. That'll be kind of the next video is kind of the, the herbicide and fertilizer applications. And yeah, stay tuned, and thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching and for your support. If you like this video, then check out these other great videos we've created for you. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. Again, this is Tony Stefani with Hillside Christmas Tree Farm, and talk to you soon.